So how long does it take to edit a video? Well, professional editors use the three, two, one rule. They make three copies of everything, they place it in two separate locations, and for every minute of video, it takes one hour to edit. However, for video tutorials or gaming, the general rule is for every one minute, it takes about 30 minutes to edit. In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple workflow that most professional editors use, and some little tips and tricks for you to become a better video editor. There are five factors that come into play. Factor number one is the amount of footage that you have taken. So if you've taken up to 10, 20 hours of footage, you need to sort all this out. And this is one of the biggest time consuming part of editing videos. Factor number two is how many special effects you wanna add into your project. Factor number three is what is the final result? Like what is the length of the video that you wanna produce? Factor number four is your editing skills. And factor number five is the software that you're using. Professional editors will always tell you to make three copies of everything and then store them on separate locations. Your smartphone these days can produce a very large file, so you don't wanna sit there and wait for this file to be transferred from your hard disk to your computer. I would highly recommend to use a solid state drive. These are very, very fast in the transfer rate because you just never know when things may go wrong. Mother Next, you wanna organize your project. Starting off with your footage, make sure all your footage is of good quality. In other words, sort out the good from the bad. It doesn't matter how long it took you to take the footage. Bad video is just bad video. You're better off trying to go back and do it again rather than trying to fix it in post. I think I can fix this in post. Then you wanna sort out your audio. It's the same principle applies. You wanna sort out the good audio from the bad audio. I'm not just talking about the audio on your microphone. I'm talking about the background noises. Things like a police siren, a screaming kid, air conditioning in the background, or even as simple as a knock on the door. And your graphics and your images. Go through every image and graphic that you think you're going to be using. Put everything together in a folder and only then import that into your software ready to start editing. And here's a sample of the setup. So this is a folder that contains all the video files, graphics and everything else I require actually to make this video. Because everything was in a folder, it was very simple for me to just to hit the import media files button. I was able to import everything at once, which saves me time. And at, at the end, I can work with it very efficiently, which resulted in this workflow that you see down here. You may also want to consider your accessories, your keyboard or your mouse, or even things like Google. Now, when it comes to a mouse, I'm using a gaming mouse. I use the Razer Nega Pro, which has nine buttons. Therefore, I can assign nine shortcut keys to each button, and this makes my editing extremely fast. If you're looking for something new modern, you could try something like the vertical mouse. A lot of guys seem to be leaning towards this, and I think it's purely because of comfort. Now, when it comes to Google, I use Google Keep. So if I'm using something like a teleprompter, I write my script out in Google Keep and then transfer this to my phone and I can use my phone as a teleprompter. When it comes to video editing software, while well, the list is quite large, we can go something as professional as Autodesk Smoke or something very cheap like a free online editing software. I personally have been using Corel Video Studio since version four and the reason why I've done this I'm not affiliated with them, I'm not sponsored by them, I've been using the same software, therefore I am familiar on how to use that software to the point I'm teaching you. But the point remains is because I've been using the same software for the last 10 to 12 years, I find my way around it so easy, so when it comes to video editing, it's quick and simple. If I'm constantly swapping and changing for software, I'm also constantly learning on how to do this, and I don't want to spend hours and hours on YouTube learning how to do something as simple as split the video or edit the audio. If your software has reached a point where it can no longer reach your skill level, well, most likely you're using additional software, something like Adobe After Effects. But it's gonna take you quite a while before you get to that point because something as simple as PowerDirector, Corel Video Studio, they're very, very powerful. It's just that most people aren't aware of what the software can do. And finally, if you are planning to upload videos quite constantly, we use a thing called repeatability. Now, what repeatability is, very simple. See if you can repeat what you did in the last video. I'm not talking about the context, I'm talking about the setup. Try and make the setup the same. If you're constantly making videos and say in a workshop or in a kitchen or you're making it from your living room, keep that format simple and consistent. And this allows you to edit your video easier and faster. And there you go, my friends. I hope this little video has helped you to become a better editor. And as always, thanks for watching.
Okay, now I just gotta edit all my mistakes.